Hey everybody, Daniel here from Basement Tech. Wow, what a crazy couple of weeks we had uh, leading up to and during the Milwaukee Maker Fair, which was uh, last weekend. Um, just a great time um, interacting with you all and uh, many of the people down there, uh, ex exchanging ideas and um, just talking about the projects that we have going on here in the Basement, make basement Tech uh, Maker Space. Um, Definite thanks out to Pete and the whole gang who put on the Maker Fair itself. A lot of volunteers, and um, they made it just painless to um, to be a part of the Maker Fair as a, an exhibitor. Um, also, my I think they're officially called booth assistants. I want to thank Nate and his friends for helping out, and a couple of my techno buddies, uh, Zach and Kevin, on Sunday, and just everybody else for putting up with what it took to bring essentially the basement tech um, maker space out to the um, out to the maker fair venue and just having a blast uh, again interacting with people we did get a little notoriety if you check out make magazines um, featured makers you'll see some uh, fun stuff about basement tech there and also hackaday picked up um, our grill automation project and talked about it a little which resulted in about 1,500 hits in a couple of days for that video. I don't monetize anything, as I said to almost all of you out of the Maker Fair, but it's just fun to know that you guys had uh, got some value out of that um, that video, and a few of the comments on the Hackaday site were very welcome. That's my plea for this video. Please let's continue the conversation that began with many of you at the Maker Fair. Um, by asking questions and providing comments and posting comments and um, having a real dialogue in the comment section of the videos that are gonna follow. The Basement Tech uh, Maker Space is kind of put back together. So much of it went out to the fair that um, I took the opportunity to kind of rearrange, purge a little, not too much, uh, clean up under those things that have, haven't been cleaned up under in quite some time and just reorganize a bit uh, to be a little bit more efficient. I really like the way it kind of turned out and um, you'll see more and more of that um, during the project videos that are coming up. Speaking of those, um, you probably know as well as I do, I hope, that there are three major projects underway here in the makerspace. Um, number one is that grill automation project. The second one is the aquarium automation. Those were both out at the Maker Fair. And the third one is the monitoring Zim Knives shop project, which is gonna be a little bit on hold while we get the other couple a little farther along. Coming up, you'll see the grill project. Um, I need to rework the chimneys as I discussed with many of you at the Maker Fair. Um, I think that'll give a little bit more tighter, a little bit tighter control over um, how the fire burns. So um, I think that will end up being just some more cleverly bent um, two-inch EMT conduit like you saw maybe at the Maker Faire. Um, and then I'll think more about how to work with the bottom vent on the grill and uh, what to do with the fans in maybe a little bit more sophisticated way. So all those videos will be coming up and we may even go live on the basement underscore tech Twitch uh, channel. That's a little hard to say. Twitch channel. Um, so you can see live, uh, you know, the fun and games we'll have with our, quote, burn tests on the grill. Um, some of you pointed out there are some commercial products out there, but I have to say this one started out as let's integrate a whole bunch of stuff with an Arduino and ended up being just a fun discovery of the kind of things you can do with an Arduino and uh, especially interacting with the physical world. So that one is really all about the journey and I'll continue to talk about that journey uh, as much as the project itself. So I talked with many of you about a lot of things to add and you'll see those coming up. It will continue to be, as one guy put it, a real Rube Goldberg, but I think it has a little bit more practical application than the typical one does. Aquarium automation. Um, you saw the, uh, the level either through the video or at the Maker Fair Live, you saw that we've got the proof of concept on that capacitive level sensing of the um, the water level in the aquarium and that's going to be the basis for 
um, the water changing, uh, sorry, the water top off uh, feature in the aquarium automation project, and that's what's going to be first. I've already got the valve in place, so um, putting it together with some logic and a time of day clock, I think will allow it to be some pretty cool stuff. Um, controlling the lighting in the aquarium is pretty straightforward, so I think those two things, uh, topping off for evaporation and controlling the lighting will be the first couple next steps there. Well, I hope you'll stay engaged and engage even more with comments and questions and offer your opinions and critique and suggestions with comments in the, in the, at the bottom of the, all of these videos. As I said earlier, that's really where it's at for me and I really enjoy that part. So keep the questions and comments and things coming. As always, if you like these videos, like them. If you really like, like many of you have, many more of you have since the uh, Maker Faire, subscribe. Uh, punch that subscribe button and um, we'll all have fun on this journey together. So thanks and hope you stay tuned to Basement Tech and on the Twitch side, Basement underscore Tech. Thanks.